Oh, I forgot about hitting the recording. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Parrot. Um, so why does this hill I'll say only only by Ona Hashem Ashiyana? Right, and not Ona Hashem Atzlicha, no, which is obviously the way we pass. And we don't shake. We don't shake by Ona Hashem Atzlicha, no? The word I told you a while I, ago that works with that. Yes, but this, we're not looking yeah. for Vezlicha, we're looking for Pshat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bard is nice, but uh, we got to figure out Pshat. So even though it's Chilas of Parak which we'll see more tonight, because it says, Oz Yiranu Asei Yoha Yar, the Pasuk says, Milifnei Hashem, Kibbalah Shpait Hazaret, which I think the Eilam should remember from uh, Kabbalah Shabbos. And then it says, after that, Haidu Lashem Kitoi, Kila Lam Chastoi. And it also says, Vimru Hashienu Aleke Yishenu. Right, Uban Hashem Hashem. And any any time we're 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 praising Hashem, that's when we're supposed to shake. But Ana Hashem Atlicha no is not uh it's not a Tfila or whatever it is Yeshua. So Mamela, that's why Bishil says that you don't say it. Tosis doesn't really get into why Bishame says um why Bisham is the one is doesn't say it. But uh, I'm sorry, what Bishami holds, you also say, Ona Hashem Atlicha, no? Um, and then, the, then if the, I don't know if the island remembers from Sukkot, because it's almost a year ago, but Lamaisa by Hoidu, the Chazin doesn't shake by the last two. Right? Right. Chazin just stands there, and uh, the Chazin just stands there. So, so the Pshad is, so, um, because he's not he's not saying haidu. You're only supposed to shake when you're saying haidu. Right? So when the Khazan says haidu, then he's um then he says then he shakes it. But the last few, two is not. And the shot is why the second one, right? How does it go? Haidu Lashem, what's the second one? Yoimano Yisrael. So there he does shake. Um right, so why by Yoimano? Um, yeah, okay, so I don't know exactly what, but Tyson says, he says it by Haidu and, and Yoimar no. But Yoimru no, and the other one, he doesn't say it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why that is. And then what, so where does the Nanuim come from that we shake it right after we take the Lula? Right? So far we see, we talk, it talks about shaking the Lula during, during, uh, by Haidu and on Hashem, but where, where do meaning we Meaning when, when we make the Bracha? Yeah. Yeah, why do we, where do we get that from? So it doesn't say that Beferish at all. So Tyson says, because from later on, in the five blocks from now, because it says a cotton that knows how to shake is Chayi Belulav. Right? Which, what do you mean he's Chayi Belulav? So even though, so we're saying a cotton could be that he's Chayi to shake Lulav, even if he doesn't know how to say hollow. Yeah? And then Tyson brings another Raya, but it doesn't, that it must be that there is such a thing as shaking the Lulav right after right after we make the bracha, but it's not, it's certainly not beferish anywhere. Yeah? Okay, whatever it is. Fine. So let's see, by we'll get, we'll get more into that tonight stuff. So we're up to, we're up to three lines, uh, three lines into the Gemara. Tanan Hassam. Yeah? Shtei HaLechem. We'll continue with the Nanduim. So Tanan Hassam, we learned the mission over there. Shtei HaLechem, Mushnei Kisei Atzeres. So these are the, these are the, Carbonus that we bring on Shavuos, right? So if you have two loaves of bread, that's what you're supposed to take, and the steak kvasim. So what do you do with them? You shake them. Kate said away. So how does he? How does he do the nanduim of the carbon carbonus of Shavuos? Maniach shteil lechem al gavish nei kvasim. He puts the shteil lechem on top of the two, on top of the two lambs. Umeniach yodik tachtein, and he puts his hands under them. Umein umein if umaylech umayvi, and he shakes it. And he uh, he mylech he he pushes it out. Who maybe brings it in? Miley goes up, Myrdin goes down. Shenem Rasher Huna Pasher Hurum. He's going to shake it. He's going to lift it up. So Riachon explains what is this? Can I can I ask about? something? What what's what's yeah. the, what, maybe we learned this or maybe I just don't know. What's the connection between the Shtei Alechem of Shvuas and the and the Lulav? Um. Or the Arba Mi, or the Dalad Minim. What's the connection? Why why am I bringing this in? What does the Shtei have to do with the Lulav? 
No, because they waived it. Because they waived it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we're we're learning the the waving. I'm just maybe I'm supposed to eat it like the matzo. You didn't hear. You didn't hear the drush yet. What are you asking? You don't know what he said yet. Let him say the drush. No, but okay, but I, the kasha is going to be a kasha either way. It's going to be, yeah, you're right. But it's going to be um, because I think what it has to do with is that we're davening. Isn't isn't Shavuos the what's it called? The Rosh Hashanah. Isn't that Shavuos when we're davening for uh, is the Rosh Hashanah the Ilana? No? Or it's one of the, it's one, it's the, I don't know if it's the Rosh Hashanah, but it's the Tfila for the Ilana, whatever it is. So it seems to be that it has to do with growth. The trees you want all your uh, basukas. It's before we're going to be uh, we're going to be judged on the water. Which you're not going to get water. You're going to get grass, right? So you're not. I mean, if you don't have water, you're not going to have grass. So mamela, I think that's why. That's why. That's that's where the connection is. But anyway, so these are the two times that we do tnufa. Even though there's other places, other karbanas, we also do tnufa that it doesn't compare it to. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to and myluchu maybe lemisha abaruka shalai. You you go out and in to the one who does the four rufas. And then you go up and down because to to signify that Hashem has the the sky and the ground. They learn this way. You go out and in in order to stop the ruchas rise. Milo Marik they lots of Tlalim Rhyme and you go up and down in order to get the do, the bad do. Yeah. So Mamela. Um Yeah, so that so and so the do is what the fruits grow. So since Shmuas and Sukis have a connection to what like we just said, with the fruits, so Mamela, fruit, grass, growth, whatever it is, so that's why we, we want to shake to take away the the Ruchas Royce. Yeah, fine. So I'm going to be a super bar avin vitam or yosu bar zvila zaisa meras on tamaralis. Now, this is what the this is the lesson to be learned from this is is shiori mitzvah ma'akvinis of peronis. Even though literally means the leftovers of the uh, mitzvahs, right? Meaning it's not the ikur and it's not ma'akvin. I mean, if you pick up your lulav and and you hold it, that's fine. That's enough to be to be yoyt to the mitzvah, which we'll get to soon. So, but by shaking it around, that helps get rid of the peronius, even though it's not the major part of the of the mitzvah. Share tnupa shiori mitzvahi, but seras ruchas itzlarim rain because the shaking is it's not me'akiv. Rashi says, and it takes it takes away the ruchas and the bad and the bad uh, the shaking take away the bad ruchas and the bad do. And Rav says the same thing by Lulav. He would, he would bring it, he would stick it out and bring it back, right, the way you shake it. And Omar, din gira to sit and let my wife stick it out, it should be like sticking this, this Lulav into the eyes of the Sutton. Meaning, when I'm shaking the Lulav out, it's like I'm poking the eyes out of the Sutton, so therefore the Sutton shouldn't have any power. Vala milsahi. And Rabbi Yaakov is saying, I'm um, saying, um, and Rabbi the Gemara is saying, and that he shouldn't do that. Because if you're gonna, if you're gonna say this out loud, you're gonna end up picking off the, you're gonna end up picking off the, the sotum. So don't say it. Maybe, maybe you could think it, right? But don't, uh, but don't say it. Which is, as far as I know, that's the minig, not to say anything like that. Now, obviously, he must mean to say it before halal. Otherwise, it would be a hefsik in hollow if he says it, right? Correct. Yeah, that's a, that's what we have to say. Okay. Shmuel David, if you could think of another mitzvah that you're holding your hands like that, maybe you should do another one. Well, not the menorah. <laughs> Don't do what? the menorah. Can't can't hold the menorah <laughs> in your hand. Uh, hmm. What else? That's the rabbanon anyway. Think- Gila, so doesn't something when some have the minig when when by the Megillah where you say Igeres Hazoy to shake the to yeah shake it says the, to shake it yeah it yeah, yeah. Shake. okay so uh, <laughs> you can make a new chumra go up and down out and in <laughs> yeah the sun is the chumra I don't know okay the Zog the Mishnah yeah Misha Babederich 
somebody who's traveling, and he didn't have in his hand a lulav to take. So when he comes home, he has to take it right there on his table, which we're, which we're going to understand to mean is that even if you're in the middle of your meal, by the way Rashi says it, if you forgot, you got home on a, from a trip on Sukkot, you on Yom Tif, which, which the Gemara is going to discuss, how could that be? The Gemara, the Gemara is going to discuss, how could that be? But, but how could he be in sound. the middle of a meal? It's it's Lashakari, you can't eat the base, so. Oh, very uh, good. You, very good. Right. Right, but then it's like, you can't eat the base, and when you come home, but Yitol al Shulchanai. So, what does Yitol al Shulchanai mean? So Rashi is saying what well, Yitol Shachonim means in Shokah, but loy not al toy the machtipa taruch lahasis tudasa. Yeah, you're right. You're right, David. That when you come home, you should take the lulav and esrug immediately, right? But the the next line, the Mishnah is saying that even if you sat down to a meal and then you remembered you didn't take lulav and esrug, then you have to stop your meal to take lulav and esrug, which the Gemara is going to ask on that 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 shouldn't that does shouldn't be the halacha. Shmuel, he's, yeah. he's, he's asking Beisoy, that you say Sukhoi, not Beisoy. Oh, that's what you asked. That's what that's what he's asking. I, I was not ah. asking that, but he translates Beiso. Yeah, I'm saying it's his home. So what does that mean? But I'm saying his home is his wanna, Oh, so you want to say? I was that not. I was not asking that. Okay, I hear. I hear. So you were asking the other question. You should take it right away. Correct. Right, so that's what Rashi is saying. Yitzhak Shachani is saying, yes, you should take it right away. And even if you sat down to a meal, you have to stop the meal and take it. You, Rabbi, you're, you're saying a raya negada riza that you're supposed to shake lulav and esrug in the sukkah. Well, that, I doubt oh. I wasn't going to go into. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's what it sounds like. But why saying. is he eating a meal in the house? Oh, you mean Tommy? Well, why is he eating a meal in the house? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you're right. So then it doesn't slug up that reason. However, you're going to answer that. You're answer that. Um, unless it means he was traveling and is in his and he's a whole drug and he's possible, well, maybe. But it's I mean, the case I is more than anyway. He's coming home on a trip on Yom Tif morning. Right, so unless you want to say he's a doctor or a solar guy who's coming from a call in the morning. I mean, why it's obvious it's not Cholamoid. It's not Yontif. Oh, so the Gemara is going to discuss it. If it's not, if it's not the Yontif, I don't, I, I don't know the halacha, but it's not Yontif. It's already not a derisa. So what it would be different if it was the first so you, day is, Yontif. So I'm tomorrow. saying, so we're only saying Misha Baba Derech is only on the first day. So we're going to, well, let's wait till the Gemara to discuss it. The Gemara is going to discuss what exactly is going on with that. Yeah. Um, fine. Okay. So then, that's and then the last line of the mission is saying, "Loy not al shachris." If you didn't take lula by shachris for whatever reason, yitol bein arbaim, you could take it in the afternoon. Shakol ayayim kasher lula. Lula could be taken the whole day. It doesn't have to be only be taken in the morning. Yeah. We didn't fine. notice talk, before what? this mission. I mean, what? I don't know. Maybe you think you can only take it in the morning. Why would I think that? Well, Mitzvah Siyam is kosher kol ayayim. Well, Mitzvah Siyam is going to be had out that mission already someplace. Uh, yeah, but like you say, okay, you say, yeah, all right, I hear. I hear. Maybe why should you think otherwise? Like maybe the mission just has to say it because it's, because we just have to say that the din is uh, okay, maybe because of halo. Halo. Well, Even though halo is also kol ayayim, right? But we yeah. didn't say anything about halal. We just said you take the lulav and you shake it. Who says he says halal now? No, but he maybe he doesn't halal take... already. Lachara, yeah, but I'm saying, but uh, but um, it sounds like with the nanu, you take it by halal, right? Okay. Anyway, so let's see the Gemara. Gemara takes it from a different angle. Amrit Noitel Al Shulchana. He says you take it on the table, which means that, like Rashi said, that you have to stop your meal. To take lulav and esrug, remember the mafsik. Does that mean that you stop your meal? For a minute, I'll ask you, Sira, I miss Chilo, ain't mafsik. And we know that if you already start, meaning this is in Shabbat, the Mishnah in Shabbat, that you're not supposed to do things before Mincha time. But 
if you already started, then you don't have to stop. So why here do you have to stop your meal to take lulav and esrog? You'll take the lulav and esrog after the meal. Exactly. What? No, I, I don't understand the question. That, that, that mission job is talking about Arab Shabbos. Who does know he has a mitzvah to daven mitzvah. No, it has every, nothing to do with nothing. And no, it's, it's, it's Shabbos every day. It's Shabbos and every day. It's every day mincha also. Yeah, it's, so... It happens to be it's Shabbos, but... Right? This fellow had a chi of oh. the rice at 6 o'clock in the morning to take lulav. For whatever reason, he didn't do it. So he has right. a mitzvah sitting on top of him to, the whole since six in the morning. So whatever re, for whatever good reason, bad reason, he didn't do it yet. But he has this mitzvah on top of him. He has a chiv on top of him to take lulav. It's not like mincha. Good. No, but it's true, but you don't have to stop. The bottom line is, unless you're up against this man, the commissioner in Shabbos says very clear that you don't have to stop. You don't have to stop. We don't make you stop. But I'm saying it's not the right. same kind of mitzvah as lulav. So let's see how the Gemara goes through it. Let's see how the Gemara goes through it. Yeah? So the Gemara says, bottom line is by Mincha, if you start, you don't stop. So I'm Rav Stapa, like Kasha, how the Kashas Biyam, how the Lakashas Biyam. He says the Pasha is a Tarot. One is talking about where you have time, and one is talking about you don't have time. Where you have time to finish, to, to, if you have time to finish your meal and then take the Lulav and Esther, fine. But if you don't have time, then in a Hanami, you have that's what you'd have to stop. You'd have to stop. Yes, the Gemara says, I'm a rabbi, my kusher, Dilma had their eyes, had their rabbanon. Oh, rabbanon, that's sort of like what you were saying. Maybe one of them had their eyes, one of them had their rabbanon. Now, one second, what's the their eyes? The lulav and esrik. Now, obviously, we're talking about the first day, because after the first day, it's the rabbanon. Right, that's A. B, what's the der rabbanon? Mincha. Tfilas mincha is the rabbanon. As we know, there's a major machlaikis rishainin, whether tfilas is the rabbanon, tfilas is the raisa. The rambam holds it's the rabbanon, the rambam holds it's the raisa. This, or that I just flip it. Whichever. One holds the rice, one's the rabbanon. This Gemara is very clear, clear that, that feel is the rabbanon, not the rice. Right? That's what the, otherwise, what's the Gemara saying? Sukkah, Lula, and is the rice, and feel is the rabbanon. Okay, that's that's a, that's a whole different subject. Whatever it is, so why can't you say that that's the difference? Maybe for the rice, you have to stop. And for the Rabbana, you don't have to stop. So the, so the Gemara changes the Teres. El Amarava, I Kasha, Ha Kasha. You have a Kasha, this is a Kasha. Look at she Yikonis, the base. So when you come home, Naitle Al Shukhanai, you take it on your table. I'm the Mavsik. That sounds like you have to stop. You have to stop your meal to take Lulav and Asik. But other Tani, Loi Natal Shachra, Tito Pein Arbain. That if you didn't take it in the morning, you could take it in the afternoon. Alma Loi Mavsik. Sounds like you have a whole day to do it. So, meaning the Mishnah itself is a Sira from the first. Part of the mission to the second part of the mission is a sira. So Rav Safra like Kasha Hadi Kashas Biyim Hadu Lakashas Biyim. No, it's no sira. The beginning of the mission is talking about where there was no time left. There's no time left. You got to take it. But in the the first part of the mission that says you uh, should stop is somewhere where there was no other time. The Gemara says I'm Rav Zera my Kusha. What's the Kasha? Dilma Mitzvah Lav Suke. Maybe. It's a mitzvah to stop. Yeah, vi loy pasuk yitol bein arbaim shekolayim kasher lulav. Maybe this, maybe you're not mechuyiv to stop, right? But it's a mitzvah to stop, right? Because you might forget, and if not, and, and if you didn't, um, then you'll have the whole afternoon to take it. The elamar sahit so therefore the gemara goes with a different teretz. Ela omar, ela omar, my salon. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. My other fresh. All right. El Amar of Zera, La'ilam Kara. Really, it's the way we said in the beginning. Oh, look, uh, which is that one is somewhere where there was time, when there was, or one is somewhere where there was no time. Oh, the Kashla Hod the Rais Hod the Rabbanon. Oh, you saying one's the Rais and one's the Rabbanon? Hacha be Yom Tefsheni the Rabbanon Askinon. We're talking about on Yom Tefsheni with the the Rabbanon. So therefore, you can't say that it's, they're both the rices, the ones that are rice, the ones that are rabbanon, because because it's talking about Yom Tov Sheni, and the Gemara says Dekanami, which is what the Oilam was saying before. It's talking about when somebody came on the derech and he didn't have a lulav. These talk about the Yom Is it if it's Yom Tov is it mutter to travel? It can't be. It can't be mutter to travel on Yom Tov So therefore, it has to be talking about Yom Tov Sheni, right? 
so um, so therefore it must be that uh, that's not talking about the first day of Sukkot, it's talking about the second day of Sukkot. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's base. That's the basic figure with this. Uh, Does, would the halakha change? <laughs> what? The Tyson says, Would the halakha change if it would? Blank it out. Blank it out. Start with okay. the second hey, half hey. of the sen- Start with the second half of the sentence next time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Tyson was asked from the Gemaras and Brachas that it's Masha that there is travel on Yom Tov. Oh, okay, whatever. That's let, let's see about it. It's not the Mishnah. And now we're on to a new new subject of Hal. Yeah. So me, Misha, you ever Isha, I cut on Makronoisoi, I nacharein. So if if a cotton or an Eved or an Isha are reading Hal. Then you answer after them, Mashain Oimrim, meaning you repeat after them. And then Vatavil and Me'er, and then he should be cursed. Right? The person should be cursed. Now Rashi says, why, is, why should he be cursed? Yeah? So he says for two reasons. Because he didn't learn, right? Um, and if he did learn, then he should be, then, and if he does know how to read, then he should still be cursed. Because uh, he, these people, uh, he shouldn't have a shliach to be his wife, or his kid, or his evid. It should be an, a male adult. Which so basically, with, what's going on here is that the way they did hollow back then is that one person read hollow, and everybody, everybody either repeated. We'll see as the Gemara goes on. Either everybody repeated, or they said hallelujah, or they just were yaitzu with the said it. He says it, right? But not the way when he says it. That's it. So you should not use an Eved or an Isha or a cotton to this thing. Okay. Parents wants to know if, if Isha if Isha should come first. That's what you're asking, parents? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't remember. Anybody have any uh any shot in there? Um I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Right. So, okay, let's finish the Mishnah and then we'll get to in, in, another important point of the Tosis. And how you gadol makro say, if a gadol is reading it, ayna acharov, and you answer after him hallelujah. Right. So meaning the gadol is like the chazan's reading it, and then you say hallelujah. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like after every sentence you say you say hallelujah. Which we'll see, which we'll see more on number base. Then the Gemara says, "Makom shenagul lifchol yichvol lifshat yishvot." In the makom that's the nayeg to double up the psukim at the end of halal, then you then you double up lifshat yishvot. Oh, and but if to those, if those that say only once, they only say once. Levarif yivarif. Those that make a bracha on halal make a bracha on halal. Hakol kaminik amadina. Everything is according to minik. We'll see this in the Gemara. I don't know if we'll get to it tonight, but tomorrow, exactly to break down this last part of the Mishnah. Somebody want to say something? No, I, I, I was on mute. I have a terrence for uh, for parrots. Like Tuvi yeah. Abda, Shavad Mikam Leal, he was able to be in the men's section with this man. His wife couldn't be in the men's section with him. He wouldn't hear her. So. That what? The Evid would be in the men's section of the shul with the Balabas. So he says, how? And the, and the Balabas answers. His wife is not in the men's section. So he wouldn't be able to hear it. That's whatever comes first. Um, I hear. Okay, but that's what Tavi. Ah, you mean so it's referring to an evid like that? Oh, well, whatever. Well, it's an evid that obviously knows how to read. That's true. Well, that's true. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I hear. Okay, so then, so look at the Tysus says from this from this it's mashma that women are parted from halal and sukkis. And on, on and on Shavuos, and because this is mitzvah to say Shazman Groma. Oh, uh, what's with Halal by the Sedarim by the Seder? So that the Chayiv in Alt Afin Hayiv by Right. So, so it's really not simple for women to make a bracha on Halal. It just seems like the minig is that women make a bracha on Halal, 
Stamazoy, it's not, and on our Stamarish Chodesh, it's really not kosher at all for even, for somebody davening B'yechidus to say a bracha on Hal. Right? Um, because it's really something that's really for the minion. We do it, Lamaisa, we do it. But for women, for women to make a bracha on Halal on Yom Tif, it's not Pashas. Well, again, but then it gets into the Ashkenazim. We make a bracha on Mitzvah Seishas Man Gromos. Svardim, I think, I think Svardi women don't make a bracha on Halal on Yom Tif. I am not, uh, any Svardim on? I, but I am, I'm not, I can't say, I can't say definitively, but I think, I think I heard that they don't. But it could be nowadays that they do. And that's because it's a Mitzvah Seishas Man Gromos. Right? Okay. And that's Masha from this Mishnah, because otherwise, if the Ish is just as high and Halal as the Ish, so what's the curse? Right? Okay. Which we'll see now in the Gemara. So, Zogdi, Gemara, Torah, Rabbah, and Be'emes, Amru, Ben Mevarech Lo'aviv, Be'evin Mevarech Lo'aviv, Be'evin Mevarech Lo'aviv, Be'evin Mevarech Lo'aviv, This is talking about Birchaz Muslim. That a son could say Birchaz Muslim for the father, and Evid could say for his master, and Isha can say for her husband. Aval Amr Chacham, Tavim Me'er Lo'adam, Sheishtai Barim Mevarech Lo'aviv. A person should be cursed. For to some for his if his wife and his kids make a bracha. So Rashi points out here um, that we're talking about birchas hamazon that a kid is chayim midrabbanon in chinuch the bench, but it has to be talking about where the father didn't stuff himself, because if he stuffed himself, then his birchas hamazon is, is, is a is a derisive from the Gemara and brachas. I don't know if the island remembers, but. Midday rice, the only time of is a muzzin if you're full. Midday rabbanon is if you eat a kezayit. Right? So it has well, to be talking about where the, the father is not full. Otherwise, it's the rabbanon being motzi at the rice. Why is someone being motzi him? Why, I mean, why isn't the father? Well, he's going to be cursed. Why is kid is being motzi him? But the question is, first, it has to work. It has to work. Why, why is the father not bench, not saying the words? Because I, he had to hear from well, a bottle of scotch by the Suda, so he's not saying the words. Then he's probably not high of the rice anyway if he can't he's say. He's high. So he's at the point where he's high, but he can't say. Well, he's 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 high of the bench, but that's why he's getting cursed of it. He's getting cursed because he should be doing it himself, and instead he's giving it over to his kid or his wife or to Evan. No, isn't that isn't that why he's being cursed? But it first has to work according to halacha, right? If it's a darabana being mighty a daraisa, then that's a problem. Which is this is the famous thing with Friday night being being yites being mighty to women with kiddush, right? Because Friday night men are yites to kiddush in shemana esrei. They're yites to the daraisa being mekadesh shabbos in shemana esrei. The women don't daven don't daven myriv. Most women don't daven myriv. So now, when he makes kiddush, he's a, he's he's only being yoyt the kiddush of the rabbanon. The man is a the rabbanon, and the women are the raisa. So that's a whole that's a whole tumble in the place. Him exactly how that works. That's where some are mocked to say good shabbos, and then saying good shabbos is some say that that's considered a being mekadesh shabbos. So they make the wives say good shabbos first. But uh, whatever, that's a whole tumble. But being a the rabbanon to be yoyt the raisa is not is not simple at all. Fine. Okay. So um, then you people get into the whole thing with the kids that are bar mitzvah, no shtei Cyrus, They shouldn't make up kid. They shouldn't make avdala to be mighty the others. That's another. That's a whole another sugi. Fine. So Amar um, turning to base now. Hilchasa, hilchasa givirta ikul lemashmi min hoga the halila. That we can learn out many halacha. Hilchasa givirta givur really means strong. Rashi says it's halachas gedolus. We can learn out major halachas from. The meaning of of hollow, of the the meaning the old time in hagim of hollow, which is that one person said the hollow and the the Seber answered after or said halaluka or answered psukim whatever it is, right? Which we'll see. Who Imer halaluka, right at, right in the beginning of hollow, right? The chazan says halaluka. Vehein Imerim halaluka and they also say halaluka. Does anyone still does anyone still do this? As far as I know. There must be some guys in Eretz Yisrael that do this type I'm of saying, thing. Like some Spartan I don't, or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think nowadays everybody reads together. But, uh, um, yeah, but it, it, yeah. it's, yeah. It's interesting because, because, uh, sounds like from here that the, the Chazen, well, we'll get to Tyson's in a minute, but it sounds like the Chazan has to say Haluka first, and the Oilam should wait. Sounds like from this, that you should say the Bracha, and then 
The chazan should say the word hallelujah, that's the first word of hallel, out loud, and then the seba should do it. But it doesn't seem like people are mocked to do this. Right? Um, yeah, now Toysus does ask, the second Toysus down asks, that how, we, how does this work with the bracha? Isn't it a hefzik? Right? What happens? The chaz, you make the bracha, now you have to start saying hallel right away, but the seba waits for the chazan to say hallelujah, so now there's there's a pause there. Right? So that Taisa says then maybe everybody makes the bracha together, but I don't know how that really helps. And right, what Taisa says, and even though the tzibur stays quiet, ain't lachish pakach. Taisa just says there's no chashash. There's no chashash for that, for them staying quiet. I guess it's not a, it's not a hefzik. Okay, whatever it is. Right, to what? Right. No, but it's just a riot to. to... That's not what it's saying. Right. Right. So. No, but he's just saying that from there we see that that's the way they had said hollow back then. That's all I'm saying. Because they wait for the chazan to say hallelujah and then the tzibur says hallelujah. Yeah, that's, I mean, we don't do that anymore. Right? But that's what it seems. Okay, then the next one is, Who Hashem, What do you learn out from that? That if, that if there's a man saying hallel, then you answer after him hallelujah. Right? Um, yeah, so we said, because we thought maybe you only say that when it's when it's not a man, it's a kid or whatever, whatever. No, but you do it even for even for a man. Yeah? And which, so what do you say? What's the chiddush? We can learn that from our Mishnah, which that's what Taiz is at. The Taiz says is just putting it in there, even though really we know that's halacha from the Mishnah. Then who I'm Haidu Lashem, the Hain I'm Haidu Lashem. Right? That's so that's what we do by Halal. Mikansha mitzvah lanis rashi prokim. From here it's a, we learn that it's a mitzvah to answer the beginning of the prokim. Right? Which is another thing that I don't think we do. Yeah? But this is why, if any this is there's a lot actually I was thinking about making a list of all the things that we learn out from the le- this yesterday's daf, today's daf, tomorrow's daf. You know, Bezaz Hashem, in a month or so, with Sukkis, there's a lot of Hanhagas that can be discussed by a student or whatever, discussed with people, and nobody has any idea why we do these things. Like we learned yesterday, why the Lulav, why we make only Rachan Lulav and not, and we don't mention anything about Hadath and Maravis and Esrik, why we hold the Lulav in the right hand. Um, why we don't tie the Esrik onto the Lulav, right? Those were a few things that we learned yesterday. They're just interesting things that can be discussed. And here also, why all of a sudden by Halal do we say Haidu and then it's repeated? So it's from this Gemara because we're trying to, at least for part of Halal, we're trying to retain some sort of Zikaran to the way Halal was done in the old days. Right? So that's why by Haidu and on Hashem, by the end of Halal, we do the repeating simply because that's the way it used to be done, sort of to preserve the... Uh, the history of it, or the tradition, or whatever, whatever word you want to use, and so that's so that's why we're doing that. Fine. So, itmar nami amar rav chana bar rava mitzvah lanis rashi prokim. It's a mitzvah to answer by the rashi prokim. So who what it goes on? Who amar on Hashem hashkia no vehein amar on Hashem no. The kanchim haye katan makra. I say that from here we learn out that if a katan is reading it, ein nachar of mashu amar. Then you have to repeat. Exactly what he said. Right? Meaning, if you have to. What? Why? I mean, why are they having a cut and doing it? I don't know. I would hope not. Um, I don't know. Because the truth is, everybody's, if everybody's reading the howl themselves, so why not have a cut? Why not? He's not being much to anybody anyway. Right? Paris is asking, why is there, why would there be a cousin leading the dominant? Uh, okay, whatever it is, but as you can maybe that's maybe that's what the Gemara is saying that when you're having a cousin, or you could have a cousin because everybody's saying it over in the mail, and now you could have a cousin. Maybe that's what it's saying. 
Okay, then who I remember on our Shema Slicha, no, hey, no, I remember on our Shema Slicha, no, we can't shimba lichval kaifal, as we said at the end of the Mishnah. From this, we learn out that if you want to say the Psukim twice, then you say the Psukim, the psukim twice. Right? Um, fine. I mean, that, but the truth is, you could say this on Hashem Hashiyano also. Right? Um, it's so, and okay, but they decided to use it from um, from this one to learn out a different to learn out a different din from the from further on in the hall. But who Omer Baruch Haba? This is also an interesting one. He says Baruch Haba, Behein Omerim B'Shem Hashem, and everybody answers B'Shem Hashem. Mikan L'Shemei Koina. From here we know. Here we learn out that somebody who's listening is as if he said it. Not meaning why didn't they say Baruch Haba? Meaning by the what happened? The Chazan would say Baruch Haba in Halal, and the Tzibur would answer B'Shem Hashem. Right? So what happened to them saying the word Baruch Haba? How are they being yoked to those words of Halal? So that's what we learn out from this, that even though they didn't say the words Baruch Haba, since they listened to it, Shemei Ka'ina, and somebody who's listening is, is as if he's saying it. Yeah? Um, now, Toysus, or Rashi, and Rashi, Discusses from here, we learn, and Tysus also discusses it that if you're in the middle of Shemayna Esrei and they get up to Kedusha or to Baruch Hu, so what do you do? You stop and you listen, and then you're Yaitza Kedusha that way, right? Which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get up to the end of the next Baruch. Let's say you're up to uh, uh, Shema Kileinu, so and they're up to Kedusha or Yehesh Shmei Rabba or anything that you're supposed to answer. So you go up, you say Shemay at Fila, you stop, you listen to the Chazan. And then your yaitza, your yaitza with the chazan with shemei akainu. You just gotta hope that the chazan's having you in mind, because nowadays chazanim don't really think that they're having anybody in mind because everybody davens by themselves, right? But um, but uh, really, if they're having you in mind, then that's what you do to the yaitza, right? Um, every, and, I haven't heard any noise. Let's hope we're still there. Anybody hear me? Yeah, and if you, and if and if the guy's not, if the chazan is not thinking having you in mind, so then you could just continue. Well, how you you're not going to be yotze anyway, right? But how do you know he's not having you in mind? Because that's a good assumption. <laughs> he's got, I don't. Yes, you're right. It's a good assumption. I mean, how many? I'm just being. How many chazanim know even know this halacha? Right. No, it's true. It's true. But they have, with lemaisa, we pass in this way. But it could be that the default in a chazan's head is like it's. I mean, the default. You should the dive in the knows, what, people, Shmuel, Shmuel <laughs> oh, Okay, I'll, okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the chazan, you would think maybe it goes with like the default of the chazan is that the chazan is being mighty people. So maybe that's that's what we say is the default. Um. Uh, you just reminded me of something else. Oh, so here, here's a, here's a very interesting din. Are you Yaitza Limud Torah by listening to a shir on a Torah tape, on a tape recorder? Rabaran, this is you for you. This is for you because you you don't listen, right? But I'm saying you listen in the car to a to a shir. You listen to the daf. No, 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 right now. Right what, now what about on Zoom? Up. What about on Zoom? No, no, no. So so Gershon Russell, I think, sometimes likes to read along, so he doesn't have the Shemei Ka'ina. But the bottom line is, is when you're when you <laughs> when you're a when you're a yeah, just took away Paris's Hano that he thought he muted Gersh because he couldn't talk. <laughs> I know someone else on the DAF who does that also. Not me. I know someone else who does that. Okay, so but the thing is like this: you're on a live shear. You're yaitz shemei kaina. The person, the 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 bunch, the one saying the shear or the balkaira, right? Do you have to read along with the balkaira? No. Because well, we, we, because shemei akaina. Same thing with a shir. You're, it's as if you're verbalizing the Torah, because you are. And on Zoom, it works as long as there's no delay. Which I don't know in the country. I don't know if it's on a delay or not. But uh, as long as there's no delay, but at some, you can be yaitza that way. But listening to a shir on a tape, you may not be. You may not be uh, yaitza if, if for those sheets that hold that you have to verbalize. Now we say Torah shabbat You don't have to verbalize. Yeah, to the mitzvah. So it's is it really thinking and uh, machshava and everything. Yes, yes, but there are shitas that hold that you're not yet unless you verbalize. According to those shitas, it's a, a little bit of a, it's, it could be a, an issue. But bottom line is, when you go to a shir, that's considered learning because shemei right? 
Fine. So then the Gemara says, Now this, this one, if I tell you the Velt Mamish makes a mistake in this halacha. Let's say you heard the bracha, but you didn't answer Amen. Now you're listening to the Velt Kiddush, right? And, uh, and a lot of people make this mistake, and they, they didn't answer Amen. So what's the din? Omerlu Chakima, the Chachamim, the Sepharia, and the teachers, the Reishi Amma, and the people in charge of the nation, for Darshaya, Omru, meaning everybody said, Shoma Veloy Ona Yotza. If you heard somebody make a bracha and you didn't answer, you are Yotza, which is the same thing in the Shemar Nesra, right? Even though you didn't answer Amen Yesh Me Rabbah with all that, all that type of stuff, you're still Yotza. And the same thing, if somebody for whatever reason by Kiddush forgot to answer Amen or Havdallah, I'm telling you this based on the Shilas, a lot of people make Havdallah themselves because they forgot to answer Amen. And it says a Beferish Gemara here that you don't have to answer Amen. You should answer Amen, because, but that's no different than anybody answering Amen after a bracha. But in order to be Yaitse, you don't have to answer Amen. Fine. It's Marnami, Omer of Shimon Pazi, Omer of Yeshua ben Levi, Mishun Bar Kabar, Minan le Shemea Kaina. How do we know? How do you know that listening is like, is like talking? Dosiv, Esadvarim, Asher Koro Yeshio. Now, this is talking about when Yeshio. Um, I'm sorry, that uh, Chilkiyo, right? Or Chilkiyo, the way it really is, found, found uh, they found the Sefer Torah in the Beit HaMikdash. Right? So, um, Shafon read it, read it out loud from the Torah to Yeshayo. So, the Chi Yeshayo Koran, it says, Asher Kori Yeshayo, Yeshayo read it. The Chi Yeshayo Koran, but like Shafon Koran. Yeshayo is not the one that read it, Shafon read it. The Chivya Koreo Shafon is called Varama Elul, Fnei HaMelech. Since, since Yeshaya listens to Shafan reading the Torah, it's as if he read it himself. So the Gemara says, Vidum Abbasid, the Quran of Shafan, Karaj Yo. No, maybe he did it like Halal. Maybe he did it like Halal, where, where the Chazan reads one sentence and everybody repeats it. So maybe that's what happened here. So Marach, Abar Yaakov, let's talk about that. Don't think that. The Chsiv, Yan, Yan, Rach, the Vavcha, the Tichna, the Fnei Hashem, the Shemach, the Zvar Meila. He says, um, you, you're gonna your your heart is soft, right? When you answered, when you heard what what was read, the Shomacha says when you heard it, beloy bekaracha, not when you read it, right? So you see that he couldn't be that he actually read it. So that's how we know. That's how we know Shemaya Koina. Fine. So Amar Rav, Eloi Leima Inish Baruch Haba. Don't say the word Baruch Haba, but Hadar B'Shem Hashem, and then pause and then say B'Shem Hashem. Ella Baruch Haba B'Shem Hashem Ba'adadi. You should say Baruch Haba B'Shem Hashem in one sentence. Why? Because if you say Baruch Haba and then you stop and you say B'Shem Hashem, it sounds like you just said Shem Hashem for no reason. Shem Hashem. So you put it together with Baruch Haba B'Shem Hashem. So then, then we understand what the Shem Hashem is 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 going on. So we can skip the parentheses because the Gemara is going to say it again in a minute. That's one din. And on to Amar Aleph, Lama Tes Amar Aleph, Amar Rava. A person shouldn't say Yeheshmei Rabba. His name should be great, and then take a pause. and then do Barak Balam Bal Meil Maya. Eli Yeheshmei Rabba Mavarak Fadadi. You should say Yeheshmei Rabba Mavarak together. Right, because again, it doesn't sound like if you pause, you don't know who exactly you're benching. Somali Rav Safra Moshe Shaperkam. Moshe, which is not, obviously his name was he wasn't Moshe. Right, his name was uh, um, he was Rabba, right? But he's calling him Moshe because the same way Moshe was the God of Ladar, so he was saying that Rabba is also the God of Ladar. El Hasam, he says, you saying you saying? Uh, I'm sorry, it's a question. Moshe, Shabbat Kamrit, are you saying a good thing? Meaning, so he was complimenting him, and then he was asking him, like he's saying, you're the God of Ladar, but are you really saying the right thing? El Hasam, Bahacha, Suke Milsahu. Right there, meaning by both cases, right? Um, the case of Baruch Haba and Yesh Me Rabba, Suke Milsahu, right? Um, it's the end of the it's the end of the sentence for Les Lamba and the, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Meaning since that pause wasn't meant to make meant as a legitimate pause, it was really just meant to stop before you're finishing the sentence. So it's obvious that the end of the sentence is going on the beginning and therefore you don't have a you don't have the problem. But comes out that that's only if you stop to take a breath or something like that. But if you're going to 
if you're going to talk a weight for a for a bit, then you then you talk a shouldn't do it. It should be it should be it should be relatively close to the to the previous to the previous words. Okay, fine. I thought we could stop here. A good and a good Thank you. Yeah, okay. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. What do you say? What do you want to be clear? What I want to be clear? That's fine, I don't care. Oh, you know, it's fine in the very spot.